Okay, so head's been sent off to get uh, a new head and all the stuff transferred. Uh, now I'll um, run some tape around inside the pistons just to stop stuff falling in and getting in between the pistons and the block, even though it's pretty tight. And then I'll sand in that third piston with some emery, uh, emery paper uh, to get the rust off. And then I'll uh, also clean up the top of the block. I'll clean up the uh, bolts as well give them a full clean and put them in the holes just so as I'm scraping the top I don't put anything into the holes help uh, minimise that risk so I've taped up the insides now I am um, for what it's worth I was going to go with the bolts inside found that putting them in was just going to get in the way far too much to be useful so um, just have to be careful how I when I scrape, in which direction I scrape to make sure I don't get it into the bolts, bolt holes. Uh, using a Stanley knife, blade. Oh, gets it off nicely actually. Cool. Okay, I get a better blade. Okay, back again. So these blades, these carbide blades, carbide blades, awesome. Took ages, they cost a fair bit more, but they are so much better. They're just so much sharper and last so much longer. They're awesome blades. So worth the money, definitely worth the money. Okay, so that's scraped. Now we get uh, some emery paper. That's a good idea. Emery paper to tidy it up. And, uh, 
Now, find out what this is. This is a little hole, it's got something in it. I'll show you that in a sec. So if you run your finger around, you'll feel any. It's certainly a lot better than visually. There's all the discoloration. Makes it pretty hard to tell. Okay. Okay, so let's um wet and dry. Definitely use wet and dry, don't use normal sandpaper because it leaves a lot of crap behind. Uh, I've recommended by McCain to use 80, but that just seems really rough to me. I'm a bit nervous about using that, so I'm just gonna go with a 180 initially and see what how it works. That rust out. Doing the right thing, I didn't um, didn't dump the water first, which I should have done. And for not doing that, I now have water inside my bolt holes, which uh, I have to get out. So I don't have a compressor. I'm going to have to soak out what I can. You see all the crap in there. Tidy it up. for the head. So the next thing to do is to clean out the thread in the block for the uh, head bolts. Uh, that to do that, use the old bolts because they're not needed anymore anyway. Uh, you cut a groove down this way in the thread um, and then by getting that groove and then moving those bolts in and out, or that bolt, this bolt in and out, uh, any 
any crap in the thread will basically gather in that groove you just keep cleaning it and you clean them out that way so let's do that Now I'll get a nut to fit, uh, run the nut up and down to clean up the thread in case it's been a bit roughed up, doesn't look too bad actually, and clean all the crap out of it and then we'll run it through the head, uh, through the block. So I did a little bit of research, that little valve or little thing in there is actually a, a restrictor, uh, a restrictor, it's a restrictor for the oil getting to the cam, so obviously doesn't want the whole lot going up there but that's all normal. This piston here, which I was kind of spun out by when I first saw it with all these little indents. Uh, talked to the mechanic who's done the head for me. Uh, there's actually damage under the head, the other head as well. So something's fallen into the piston chamber, bounced around and actually um, put dents into the piston top and in, into the um, into the head. There's no, no actual damage that's affected, luckily enough, no damage that's actually affected the uh, piston or the head in a functional way, but a bit scary. And a bit further reading, uh, things that seem to have caused a similar shape is uh, previously a tip of a um, glow plug has broken off. So maybe that's what happened with the previous owner. It certainly hasn't happened since I had the car, but uh, thankfully there's no damage around the edge of the piston, so it's, it's all still good to go. Back to the bolt just to clean out these holes. Uh, I didn't need a nut to tidy it up, it was actually it's all fine, so it's a matter of going in and out of each of these now with this to make sure it's smooth and there's no crap in there. It's actually going in not really easily actually, which is nice. So far so good. One out of a lot. Inspect it. There's nothing in it.
now you're going to take the tape out and just give it a clean while I do it. 